Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Phasmophobia. Today, I figured we could do a little bit of grinding. Grinding in the way I used to do before the progression update. Uh, which I'll just show off real quickly. You can see this contract. Here's the player's stats. Here's the ghost stats. And here are the contract stats in case you wanted to copy it at home. Gives a 9.5 times multiplier. We bring an igniter and incense and that's about it. I like to do it on Willow Street House. Basically, for those who are listening instead of watching, it's just like a zero evidence, zero sandy run. And you just get in there, you hunt test the ghost, and typically you can determine a ghost by hunt test like a little over 50% of the time, or like 60% of the time. So the majority of ghosts are hunt testable. Willow Street House has... God, is this motherfucker here? Please no. Willow Street House has two looping spots, which is why I like Willow Street House. Now we just gotta wait for the ghost to start hunting. I think it's in the living room or in the kitchen. If it's in the kitchen, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Because we're only bringing an incense, or two incenses and a box of matches, it is very low in terms of cost if you fail. And the multiplier gives a lot of gold if you succeed. Is this a hunt? Oh my god, it's a hunt. Oh, you bitch! Oh, it's an obake. Jesus Christ. I thought I was doing a ghost event because it came from the right. Because <laughs> I thought I was hearing noises from the left. Oh boy. Ah, oh, and we fucked up the loop so much. It was, it was speeding up so much. But we still got it. We still survived. I could do another hunt test, but there's pretty much no point. Like, if it's a mimic, it got us. You know. I'd just be what it'd be. How do I know it's an Obake? Well, during the hunt, it changed from the old lady model to the Lisa model. Uh, which is what the Obake does. Yep. We didn't get any objectives, but that is fine. We got a nice 19, a clean 1900 bucks and an extra 100 chaser just for getting the objective. Are we actually going to level up? Let's see. I think we might be. It'd be nice if this XP meter was a little bit quicker. If I hit skip, I'm paranoid I'm not going to get the thingy. Awesome. Leveled up sound sensor. Sweet. Let's go again. What was I saying? Oh yeah, as you can see, in a relatively short amount of time, we successfully got a investigation done. Okay, no easy objectives for us. It be what it be. I'm just conserving my sprint so that I can immediately sprint to the light switch. Without the lights, it becomes much, much, much harder. We got a delicious bone. They actually nerf the bone, so it's a lot less good to get it now. Like, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it no longer gets multiplied by the uh, money multiplier. I'm really bad at the audio game. I think it's either in the garage or in the hallway again. Just need it to hunt.
think it's to my right. Oh. It's a fucking bitch. It's bent over. I think it's an Obake. Or not Obake, uh. Miling, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to bother trying to figure it out. If she keeps bending over, that's just going to be... This this model's really not great for it, because she can bend over backwards, and she can crawl. Uh, what is it? Miling. Yeah, Miling's the one with the quiet footsteps. It's probably not a Miling, but its footsteps sounded kind of quiet, which is why I'm just going to spitball and guess it. Let's see. No, it was a spirit. There's no way to guess it, which is fine. That will happen from time to time. In fact, I think it's optimal that it's something we couldn't have guessed, because uh, it would have sucked if it was something I could guess and I just didn't, because <laughs> it was that ghost model. Ideally, we want, like, male ghosts. Yeah, Jason Hall. So I'm pretty sure... I feel like the little mouth tooth ghost is female, but it might be an agendered model. But Lisa is female, and Lisa. Man, this sucks. Well, it's in the basement. Okay. This thing is slow as fuck. Is this a revenant? I think this might be a revenant. Could be a hantu. I have to actually get a clean look at it as it hunts. Oh, since the new update, they, the ghosts have felt more active, so I feel like I'm getting... I get the light off less often, so just like insta-hunts. But whatever. We'll know for sure next hunt, because it's so well lit. Let's see, is it hunting now? Don't think it's hunting now. Whatever. We've just gotta wait. No, I'm hearing footsteps. It's definitely moving. Just so fucking slow. <laughs> Oh no, poor ghost. I think it's obviously rough, but I'll give it one more hunt test, I guess. It's a little bit awkward that's this combo of things. It definitely looked way slower than Hantu. If it was a Hantu, it would have we would have heard fast footsteps underground. If it was a Diogen, it would have immediately went to us. It's gotta be a Revenant. Yeah, in fact, I I think I'm just gonna bounce. It was so slow. Let's see, if I'm right, I'll go over the... Well, even if I'm wrong, I'll go over the Revenant traits. No reason to waste time. Oh man, we could have gotten uh, some extra XP. It didn't even see us, apparently. Oh well. Yep, was a Revenant. How did I know it was Revenant? Well, the Revenant... For those who don't know, I mean, it's, it's a very infamous ghost, so most people probably know. 
its trait is that it moves incredibly slowly unless it's got line of sight, in which case it moves incredibly quickly. I think it was the only quick ghost in the original version of the game, or like the early versions, before they added the Raiju and the Thay and all that. So it was quite the feared ghost uh, back when I watched people playing Phasmo. Uh, in the good old days, long ago, back when I had a crappy computer and couldn't play this game, uh, it was kind of like a meme that, uh-oh, could it be a... So irritating. We could have got the ghost, but like, fuck me, dude. I guess I should have tried navigating to one of the permanent hiding spots. Oh well. It be what it be. It was the twins. Okay, it just sped up really quickly while it was chasing us. No big deal. Anyways, as I was saying, it was like a, it was a whole thing. You'd always be worried. About the rev. I don't think the demon even had like a fast hunting trait. Its old trait was that it just was really aggressive with its hunts. So like that was the thing. They were supposed to like guess it with. Okay, please don't cuck me here. Please don't cuck me. Thank you. If not been cucked. Guess I'll grab the bone too. Because the opportunity has presented itself. Alright, this one for sure is in the living room. Or downstairs. That was totally from my left ear. Okay, is it gonna hunt? quite rude. It's a little sucky. You can't set like a 10 second. Okay, it's not a yokai. Mm, don't think it's an oni. It looked like it sped up when it saw me. I'm gonna guess that. It might have just been like it kind of glitching a little bit because it was like going around a corner. Oh, I hope I guessed right. We would have got. It's some money's on the line. I mean, we maybe could go back with another smudge. It's probably a little irresponsible to just send it, but on the other hand, it will help us cycle through ghosts a little quicker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. old Eagle Eye Malone was on the case. It was in fact a gin. I am, I am so fucking fogged. Holy crap. We even got a daily because of all the stuff we're expending. Got a leveled up video camera, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I think we might be able to get a flashlight too. Let's see, no, level 35, and we're level 33. Yeah, 33. So how did I know he was a djinn? Here's the djinn's traits, for those who do not know. The djinn uh, is a breaker ghost. It loves the breaker. Its abilities are associated with the breaker. Basically, if the breaker is on and the djinn has line of sight on you, uh, and you're a certain distance away from the djinn, it will get like a speed boost, which will 
go away once it hits like a three meter radius, I think. Something around that. So you know. You see the ghost speed up and then slow down. You know it's a gin. It's usually kind of a pain to get in small maps like this. You can just barely squeak it by uh, the way I did. But obviously it's easy to it's easy to misinterpret things with such tight margins. Oh, what a fucking prick. Okay, it's hunting now. Hmm. I think this is on to Yeah. This is on to. I thought it was maybe slow twins, but it didn't speed up when I stood up. You can only loop the ghost around there without it speeding up if you crouched. Okay. I should have smudged it the last second. Oh well. It'd be what it'd be. Just left like 400 XP on the table. No big deal. I'll be shocked if it's a slow twin. It was so slow. There's no way. Oh, thank goodness. I was paranoid. So how did I know it was a Hantu? The Hantu's hunt's trait is that its speed is connected to the temperature. What does that mean? Well, when it's like freezing temps or colder, it moves really fast. If it's warm temperatures, it moves very slow. I think... The Hantu uh, can't turn on the breaker because of the straight, but I'm not quite sure. Feel like it can't. Uh, so I double checked that it was Hantu by standing up. The Hantu doesn't speed up naturally. It can suck the temperature out of a room to speed up, but it can't speed up on its own, and speeding up is pretty rapid. It all worked out. Uh, I thought it could be slow twin because the twin 50% of the time moves 10% slower than a normal ghost. But, and you know, a normal ghost moves pretty slow, but not that slow. Alright, we got all the lights on. Fantastic. Now we wait. Uh, the other 50% of the time, the twin moves like 10% faster than a normal ghost. So it's sort of like emulating like the the good twin, the powerful twin, and the slow twin hunting you. It's like a 50% chance. Oh, Jesus. What a prick. Hopefully that was an objective. It was not. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> Excuse me? Is this another Hantu? No, it's speeding up. Mm. This might just be a normal ghost. It's definitely speeding up like a normal ghost. Hmm. I think this is a nothing special ghost. Might be a poltergeist. Whoa. I didn't even get it with the smudgies, are you serious? <sighs> I mean, it might be a poltergeist, it was throwing shit around, uh, around a lot. I guess I could go back. Hmm. I'll just guess it's a poltergeist. No reason 
to take the extra time. You might have beaten me, Stephen Myers. Because it's, I mean, it, it would be quicker. It was a wraith, so we ended up not wasting time. That would have been the danger of going back. This is a reminder to keep an eye out for poltergeist throwing, too. There's a lot of stuff to keep track of with hunt testing. May or may not be worth it to start bringing more incense, more smudge sticks to the hunt tests. Okay, it's downstairs. This is just normal ghost. Shame, whatever. Pretty sure it's a normal ghost. How did I not get the... Okay, hold up. I'll give it one more look, since why not? I want to get the objectives. Even if we're wrong, we're still going to get like a decent-ish chunk of change, I think. Enough to pay for the incense, at least. Okay, please don't hunt, please don't hunt. Thank you. I guess it teleported back to his room or some shit. Okay. It's, it's got a 50% chance to immediately come up the stairs now, too, because it saw us here last time it hunted. Speed, I think. I think standard throwing. Mmm. It's a real tough one. I think it might just be like a Gorio or some other like a normal type of ghost. Maybe we could do a gin test. We already did a gin test though. Guess while I'm waiting for it to hunt again. We know it's not a Thay, Diogen, Moroi. It's not a Hantu. It's not a Raiju. It's probably not a Shin. Uh, it's definitely not a Poltergeist. Don't think it's a Yokai. Could be a Twins. It would have rolled the same slower speed. Oh, hold up, it does feel a little faster. Well, next does it feel a little faster? <laughs> Got my two objectives. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't really faster. But then again, I could be wrong. Such such things are very subtle. It's it's none of those super like obvious ghosts. I'll just go with the twins. Why not? It kind of vaguely felt maybe faster. So who knows? Let's see. No, it's the mimic. I've got some jobs ready for you. Well, whatever. We got. 60 times 9. Never mind, times 6. So that paid for our trip at least. <laughs> it paid for the gas money, you know. Which is totally fine. If Ghostbust and HQ has any problems with us, we'll just say, oh, look, it was a mimic. There's nothing we could have done, dude. 
Let's send Kevin Garter. Okay, no smudge related objectives this time. Unfortunate. Oh, I should check if those smudgies get, are getting an upgrade. Or if I can, if I'm high enough level for the smudge upgrade. Surely that would be useful. Be a cool different shape, they'd last longer. So we could potentially bounce the ghost more than once. Something. They actually made smudges a little bit better in the Ascension update. juking me. This might be an Oni. It's feeling like it's blinking pretty com pretty rapidly. Could be wrong though. All this stuff super knocked around too. So I'll just throw it back on this table so I can pay attention to that too. Oh, is that a sneaky bone, I see? There we go. Being a little bit bold, dropping the smudge. know for sure it's not a yokai at least. That's not a Raiju too. Oh hold up, it might be a yokai. I don't think it's a yokai. It's definitely not a Jin too. Oh god, I lost sight of him. Mm. It seems like it's blinking a lot. The only thing I'm like hesitating on is it's not doing the Oni blink. So I'm a little bit not sure. There's like this characteristic blink the on Oni does where it like is only invisible for like a microsecond. I guess we'll just go through. So it's not Moro and Diogen Thay. Don't think it's an Obake. Don't think it's the twins. Probably it's definitely not a Raiju. It's definitely not a Hantu. It's definitely not a Revenant. Definitely not a Phantom or Jin. Could be Mylan. Guess I'll kind of listen a little bit harder. I think we. Well, I don't know if we'd notice if it was a Myling. Myling's a very hard to notice ghost. Alright, just give me the third hunt. Hunt me! Are you serious? Dude, is that an objective? Oh, it is an objective. Now I'm really invested in finding out. Maybe we could have brought some salt in. It's a shame that, like, there's... Oh, dude, why is this guy such a juker? I kind of want to softly say it's an Oni, but I'm really unconvinced. Yeah, its footsteps sound normal too. It's 
definitely speeding up a little bit. I think it's very active. Oh, it can't even be Noni. It just did the air ball just to fucking troll me. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't really super paying attention to the throws. I'm gonna just say. I'm gonna say you're, uh. You're a Ure. Why not? Who knows? It's either that or Wraith. I'll go with the Wraith, actually. I'm feeling the Wraith. Welcome back. It was a miling? Are you serious? No. God. The miling sucks. I hate the miling. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Okay, let's do one more. One more run. I want to get a success. To end on a positive note. A yoink. A yoink. I should have checked for the smudgies. Oh. Another yoink. What are the objectives? Repel. Photo of the ghost. And firelight. They changed the candles that appear on the map to be unmobile, but last forever. So if we spot a candle, we might be able to get two objectives. This run instead of one. A yoink. I think it's hunting. Maybe? Actually, I'm not sure. No, I think it's just normal. It's hallucinating. Some ghost singing. No big deal. There we go. It's hunting now. It's really tossing shit around, wherever it is. Not that that really means anything. Okay, gotta light shit up a little bit more. I wanna be able to see it coming. There we go. Let's toss this here for now. Get some more stuff for uh, Poltergeist test. There we go. Table chock full of items. I think the rain is what's fucking with me a little bit. There's some sort of ambient. There we go. Well, I, I must have been out of range. It might be a yokai. It'd be nice if we got a yokai. The yokai is dead easy to test for. <laughs> wow, it's walked past me twice so far. I've been debated by the hearing range being. I think this is probably a yokai, but I've been baited before. The hearing range isn't like global on the map. We're just gonna need it to do another hunt test. We're definitely gonna wanna bounce it at some point too. Oh, 
Munchies. Maybe if we're lucky we can get it to blow out that candle too during its hunt. That'd be fucking awesome. It's highly disrespectful doing a ghost event. Not a. Uh, oh no, I think it is a poltergeist actually. Maybe. Hmm. Not one hundred percent sure. It's hilarious that, that got knocked up there. I mean, it seemed like it was regularly throwing stuff, I'll be honest. I'm kind of leaning towards a ulti. So its footsteps definitely are louder than my links. It's it's a little bit subtle, but I can kind of hear the distance uh, difference since it's like back to back. Uh, did it throw? You're not supposed to throw. I'm... Let it pull out the fucking mm. No, it's not a bolty. This is a real rough one. I think it's not a bolty. Could do a gin test, I guess. Just camp out back here. Go for the hiding spot. But be a little bit of a waste opportunity and we can just continue to hunt test this. Got a feeling it's a nothing special ghost, unfortunately. I see it going down the hallway, I'll make sure not to turn on the light. Oh, sweet. Blew out the light. Didn't even have to lure it over there. Hmm. Is it twins? Kind of sounded like it threw two things there. Fuck me, dude. This is so trash with the new lighting update. Can't see shit. I mean, I think I would have noticed it was going. It was doing the slow twin. Yeah, okay, I'm bailing. No reason to lose perfectly good smudge sticks. I guess we could think about it. I mean, it wasn't a Pulte, I think. It wasn't a Myling, for sure. It wasn't... Diogen, Moroid, Thay, it sure as shit wasn't a Mylu, uh, My Raiju. <laughs> it wasn't Hantu. It wasn't Revenant. We did three tests, and it did, was the same speed the entire time. Um, I mean, it was, was it fast at all? I think if it was fast, it was just because it was catching glimpses of us. 
Uh, I guess we'll do twins. I think this is the last guy's ghost. I think it's just normal ghost. It just happened to throw shit. The only reason why I'm even leaning twins is because it interacted with something and very close to me while also blowing out the light. No, it it was a pulte. Oh, I guess it just threw items out of its range. Okay. First of all, let's let's upgrade this flashlight. Wow, it only costs two thousand five hundred. Interesting. I guess I'll give it one more go. I'm really not great at identifying Pultis, I guess. Alright, let's see this new flashlight in action. Oh, it's a big honker. It doesn't look that much better, just right off the bat, so far. But maybe I'm underestimating it. Let's see, what are the objectives? It's uh, Megan Elliot. Needs nothing we can do. Unfortunate. Mm, I mean, it feels wider, actually. And it might be like 25%, maybe 33% wider. Oh, you know what? Actually, when I'm... Okay, it's downstairs. And I'm lighting up this area. Yeah, no, it is definitely bigger. Are you rub? I seem fast as fuck for a second. But are you a Diogen? <laughs> this is the Diogen. Okay. What are the objectives again? Witness ghost vent, capture photo of the ghost. Here's a pelvis. I mean, I might as well try to capture a photo of this guy, or this gal. Just to double check it is a Diogen. We have no photo cam. Man! You don't have shit. Okay. Whatever, I'm doing one more hunt just to double check. We never got it like, it felt faster than Diogen, kind of. Just the only reason why I'm a little bit hesitant. I guess if I don't reveal myself and just beelines to me, I'll know. Yeah, no, this is actually a really reasonable flashlight. No, this is a Diogen for sure. Okay. Well, Diogen is the perfect ghost uh, for what we're trying to achieve here. It's just a little bit unlucky that we ended up getting it without any other objectives, because it's basically like the uh, bingo free space. Yeah, no, you know what? The more I use this flashlight, the more I'm happy to have it, actually. This seems pretty, pretty good, actually. It's a very good light. Doesn't quite hit the garage, but still. Evidence. Diogen. I'm sending it. So the Diogen knows where you are always. It moves rapidly when it's far away from you and very slow when it's near you. You're supposed to loop it. It's kind of a gimmick ghost because it just punishes you for hiding from the ghost, which is the way to deal with ghosts like intended gameplay wise. But whatever, you know. It's always nice to shake things up sometimes. We didn't get a level up, but we're very close. So yeah, that is 
that is the grind, the grinding setup that I use to grind for the ghost. It's very reasonable, very quick. Nothing too crazy. You can get really unlucky and just get a string of ghosts that all are like nothing special, no untestable traits. And as you can see, uh, as you saw earlier with the poltergeist, not exactly perfect at it. But you know, the more I do it, the more I, I sharpen my skills at identifying like ghost huntable traits. I should have listened to my instincts with the poltergeist. I kind of felt like it was a poltergeist. I kind of gasped myself out of it. Yep, well anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Phasmophobia. Bye!